Welcome to BDC Chapel for Term 2. The Lord be with you. Easter was at the beginning of school holidays and it continues on for another six weeks. So we are in the third week of the season of Easter. We have a guest speaker for this week's chapel. Her name is Rev Nick Hagen. She's a priest who's been a school chaplain. She's been a parish priest. And currently we're really lucky because she teaches one day a week at BDC for year five and six. Over to Rev Nick. God be with you. It's good to be here at the beginning of term two. And as we begin, I'm going to light the candle. And I want you to think about all the reasons and times that you have lit candles. At BDC, we say that once there was a man who did such amazing things and who told such wonderful stories that people saw him as the light. And perhaps the light gives us hope. We are still in a hopeful season. It's still the season of Easter. A priest friend of mine wrote recently, keep eating chocolate, keep celebrating, keep singing. It's still Easter. And I wonder if you have any Easter eggs left. I know ours are all gone. After the resurrection, Jesus' friends kept finding him in unexpected and unusual places. They found him on the beach eating fish. They found him in an upper room while they're having their meal. And they found him on the road from city to city. Perhaps it was kind of like the first Easter hunt, except no chocolate and no eggs, just Jesus. And they were looking for Jesus, and he kept turning up in extraordinary and unexpected places. I wonder where Easter keeps turning up for you. I wonder what things give you hope and energy for the day. I wonder what things are giving you joy and excitement. They could be little things. They could be things that you didn't expect would be there. I wonder where your Easter keeps happening. Perhaps it's in the continuing presence of chocolate in the fridge. Perhaps it's that you're at home. Perhaps it's doing things outside. Perhaps it's going for a run. Perhaps it's laughing until your sides hurt. I wonder what things are reminding you about hope and joy at this time. Amen. Have a great first week back at school. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ, amen.